Hello friends, this video on components of food part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam, fish etc. But the question is, there is so much of variety in the food, but why do we need food? So this is something which we already answered in the previous lesson because food is something that gives us energy, right? So what we learned is, Food gives us energy to do various activities. Whether you look at this lady who is performing yoga. So when you perform yoga or when you try to do exercise, have you noticed that if you exercise continuously for a half an hour or one hour, what happens at, at the end of one hour? You tend to feel tired. Why? Because when you are doing that exercise or when you are doing yoga, a lot of energy is being spent in doing that. So as a result, what happens? You tend to, you, you are losing energy gradually. So think of doing any kind of activity, whether you see this man who is cutting down a tree, though cutting down a tree is not a good thing to do, but when he is doing this job, he is doing some work. So some energy is being spent from his body. Therefore, after some time, again, he also gets tired. So whether you jog or even when you think you are actually not doing any physical work but still some energy is being spent by your body. So your body needs energy to think. So have you ever seen that when you are very hungry, you haven't eaten anything since morning and then you are asked to solve a problem in mathematics. So have you noticed that you don't feel like doing it because you know you are feeling hungry so your entire concentration is towards your hunger. So you are not able to think you are not able to apply your brain. So that's because even your brain works only when there is energy in your body. So it needs energy to work. Even when we sleep, our body needs energy. That's because when we are sleeping, we are not doing any work. But the organs inside our body, they are still working. So even when we sleep, our heart beats. Even when we sleep, the blood circulates throughout our body. Even when we sleep, we breathe in, breathe out. So all these activities are still taking place inside our body. And energy is needed for these activities also to perform. And wherever we need energy, so from where are we going to get that energy? So that can energy comes inside our body through food. So when we study, we need energy. So in that case, we definitely need a lot of energy. So here we saw that to do any kind of activity, whether it is a physical activity or mental activity, you would need some energy inside your body. And you get that energy through the food which we eat. So food is extremely essential. That is why if you stop eating food for some time, your body doesn't have energy. So gradually you will not be able to perform any of the physical or mental activities. And finally, the processes which are taking place inside your body, that might also stop because they also need energy to do their job. So that is why it is very important to eat proper food. So now the next question is. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.